The Humane Society of Indianapolis is teaming up with IMPD to crack down on unwanted animals all throughout the city. And they're reaching out to homeless populations to get those pets spayed and neutered. Call 6 investigation investigator Kara Kinney has more on the city's animal overpopulation. We're at a homeless camp by some railroad tracks on the east side. Now, this site is one of more than a dozen locations where animal advocates are finding animals to spay and neuter. They live in places with no address and without much at all. But many homeless people do have pets and plenty of them. The monster. Jerry Tollefson lives in a homeless camp under I-70. I lost my job due to uh, the economy. They downsized. They cut out third shift. Jerry owns 11 cats. The Humane Society, in cooperation with IMPD, spayed and neutered most of his felines at no charge to Jerry. Because the homeless are without transportation, workers pick up the pets, do the surgery, Come on, kitty, kitty. and then drop them off again. I think it's great. I mean, I, I can't thank them enough. Uh, and they're bringing cat food down for me, too. I'm like, wow, you know, it's amazing. It's a new program aimed at reducing the number of animals killed just because they don't have a home. Pet overpopulation happens right here. I mean, we just fixed six cats from this community, most of them female. And in another month, that would have been 15 cats just because of the way they would have had kittens. Last month, the city shelter took in 1,300 animals, and nearly half were euthanized. It's stats like those that keep veterinarian Kelly Barton spaying and neutering at the new Animal Welfare Center. If we can do spay and neuter surgeries to where we can prevent um, an, an abundance of lives that we don't have homes for, then we can we can help stop the problem. We don't want to have to, to clean up the mess by doing euthanasia on, on the end to try and, and get rid of unwanted animals if you can fix them. Outreach workers are still trying to figure out just how many animals belong to the homeless. Sometimes the people are transient from camp to camp, so we're really just trying to get a handle on where the animals are, where they're staying, and where they're being the best cared for, and what we can do to make sure the animals do stay there. The spay and neuters for the homeless are paid for through a trust as well as donations from the community. The Humane Society says they'll keep doing this program as long as there's a need. Kara Kenny, RTV6. The Animal Welfare Center is located in Hallville, one of the worst zip codes for unwanted cats and dogs. They offer spay neuter services for $20 to $60.